In this video, we're going to share with you how we updated the storage compartment door handles on our RV. And we're starting right now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be a part of the conversation. Welcome back, Aaron here with Three Tails RV. The storage compartment doors on our 2000 Bounder were starting to show their age. So today we're gonna to share with you the process that we used to give them that updated look. So let's get to it. So the first step is we're gonna take some 100 grit sandpaper and we're gonna lightly scuff up around the outside of it. And you want to be careful not to touch the uh, sides of the RV because it will scratch it. The reason why we sanded it first is we're trying to prep the surface so that it'll, the paint will adhere to the metal. That is what the handle is made out of. And now we're wiping it off with TSP solution. If you don't know quite sure what TSP is, go ahead and look that up. It's uh, used, like I said, by professionals for painting. Clean up the surface around it, let it sit for a couple minutes and dry off, and we'll move on to the next step. So that that's had a chance to dry, we're gonna be using the blue scotch tape. I like to use, I have two sizes. I have the half inch and the two inch. I like to put the half inch around this and then go a two inch border around that to prep it for painting. So let's get started with that. These are, boxes are not square. So you're going to have to take your time to ensure that the area is completely covered. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that when it comes to painting RVs, I like to be extra safe. We're going to be using a painter's paper to go around the outside of the product itself. And speaking of painting, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the uh, description right up in the corner where you can see how we paint, how we painted the decals on our RV and it'll be a lot similar process to that that there is for this today. And there's what it looks like with the uh, tape applied and then the uh, paper around the outside of it. Make sure you get the corners so that you don't have the wind come up and take your paper and go over the project that you're working on. So let's finish up this taping by doing the keyhole. For the next step what we're going to do is we're going to be putting a piece of tape over that keyhole. So how I do this, is I take a piece of tape and I put over it and make sure that it's on there really well. And I grab a box knife and all we're going to do is go right along that edge. The perimeter, there's just enough room that that cutting surface will go right around there. And I'm going to carefully, I need to put my finger on the dot just made just like that. I'm going to shake up this pan really well. The paint that I use for today's project is the Krylon Color Master paint. You can pick this up at any big box stores, Walmarts. And we're going to put the first coat on. It's going to be one real light coat. Then we're going to wait 15 minutes and we're going to repeat and add another coat to it. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Now it's time to add a little bit thicker coat. Just like so. So now that we got that done, it's time to do the reveal of, the pro of this whole process. I'm going to take the tape off. Be extra careful so you don't get the paint on the RV. 
fold it all into itself. Or if you want to be frugal, you can do one at a time and uh, save the paper. Just move it over to the next one and so on and so forth. Now we need to remove the keyhole. Grab it by an edge. Just remove it like that. And there you go. Now you could got a updated look for compartment handles. You hear Murphy? Lori and I would like to thank you for following along with us today. And if you know someone that would benefit from watching this video, go ahead and share this video with them. Until next time, remember, live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride. And we will see you on our next video.